Well, the statistics are disturbing. Up to half the people who have bleeding in the brain due to head trauma will die within a month. Now, sometimes it's a stroke. Sometimes it's concussion. It happens in the elderly, soldiers, abuse victims, athletes. And that's why new technology being developed right here in the islands could one day save countless lives. Effectively, we still have the same treatment that we've had for a thousand years where we do a burr hole to release pressure inside the skull. Dr. Tom Hassling of Ocean in Honolulu is talking about treating bleeding in the brain. Take what happened to Damien High School quarterback Alan Mojica. After a concussion, badly traumatized, he quit football and will never be the same. Or the death of actress Natasha Richardson, a concussion from skiing. She seemed fine, only to die a short time later from what doctors couldn't catch soon enough. It remains undiagnosed until they get to the hospital. So the paramedic doesn't have any tools to even deal with this. But Hassling has come up with a revolutionary way to treat the injury. We're able to target the artery without damaging the brain underlying it. It's called latch technology, a laser that can pass through skin, skull, and tissue and pick out the damaged and bleeding arteries. Then it can cauterize or clamp those arteries, effectively stopping the damage. And they can do it without a single incision. We successfully stopped that flow. And we, uh, we did that actually in 100% of the attempts. Now check this out. This is something else these guys are working on. This is called an impact sensing helmet. And if you take a look inside here, it has all these sensors that can detect the direction and strength of an impact. So medics can tell almost immediately just how bad a head injury might be. This technology could easily be ported into um, sports equipment, like bicycle helmets or, or um, football helmets and so on. Right now, it's being tested for the military. Head trauma, a huge problem for soldiers on the battlefield. But one day, Hassling says it will help those off the battlefield of all ages. The potential is I, I could see this in every ambulance or in every emergency room. Now, right now, Oceanit's having great success with treating those arteries, feeding the lining of the brain. But they're also testing arteries deep in the brain. And that has the potential to one day significantly reduce damage done by strokes.